Welcome to the early game guide. First thing you should do is eat cakes. After that, grab the rogue sword, hit combat one, and claim the grandma wolf from the spider's den. After you get the grandma wolf, head over to the mine merchant, buy one gold ingot, head over to the lumberjack, buy two sticks, make a golden shovel, buy some EXP bottles, and put efficiency two on the golden shovel. Aim to get all of the farming minions and all of the farm animal minions. Only worry about trying to get these to tier one. Once you have tier one of all of those minions, don't forget about cactus, especially don't forget about mushroom it's time to start grinding sand you're gonna get you the sand minion up to about tier 6 and you're gonna also hit mining 12 once you hit mining 12 buy a promising pickaxe or whatever you can get your hands on to mine blocks you could just get the lazy miners pick if you, in the gold mine if you want that's up to you though i wanted to try something different for unlocking dwarven mines so i mined six enchanted uh coal and then NPC bought the other four and then mined 20 enchanted lapis. I don't think it was faster, just mine 30 lapis. Once you finally unlock the dwarven mines, it's time to grab an artisanal shortbow. Make sure to fill your inventory with arrows as well. This grind kind of sucks, but it's the best way to get combat 12 to unlock the end. Just kill glacites bow swapping with a pickaxe. Hopefully drop a few pieces before you hit combat 12. I got very lucky. I dropped the entire set, but you just realistically want about two or three fourths. Oh my god. Yeah. Boots. I still haven't dropped these on my on my actual Iron Man. That's so great. Wow. Oh, oh yes. Once you hit combat 12, head over to the weaponsmith and buy an end sword. Enchant it with some decent enchants, just enough to kill five endermen. Once you make it to the end, talk to the lone adventurer and he'll give you a quest to kill five endermen. Kill five endermen and then talk to him again. The next dialogue he'll give you is an option to buy the void sword, which you're definitely gonna want. A great thing about these recent new updates with farming is that hub farming wheat is an amazing way to make money. So I'd strongly recommend farming 200k coins worth of wheat and buying the void sword. It took me about 20 minutes. Once you have some glacite armor and the void sword, it is time to start killing endermen. You're gonna want to drop full ender armor as well as the piece of equipment from these endermen. It shouldn't be too hard. I got extremely un lucky with my enderman and after that you can start grinding end nodes for the last piece of ender equipment as well as xp bottles to enchant your gear next you're going to want to kill watchers and obsidian defenders for the extra ender equipment as well as watchers for the sighted reforge okay at this point you should have full ender equipment full ender armor and a void sword also the sighted reforge also some glacier armor now it's time to have a bunch of fun enter an entrance floor dungeon with your cute little void sword go mage use ender armor and lcm also use your uh, thunderstorm Ability. You're gonna want to focus on killing Dreadlords. Hopefully you drop Dreadlord Sword in a reasonable amount of time. Once you get Dreadlord Sword, try to start killing some entrance lost adventurers for some dragon armor. So this is optional. This is your choice. I would recommend getting a full, either either full young dragon or three fourths young dragon, because young dragon is the best if you're not meleeing. And I mean, mage is really good on early game Iron Man. Holy sucks. Unstable is good for melee, and then three-fourths young is just great. If you can, get a friend to help you out and frag bot for you. It helps for people to not steal your lost adventures for the frags. And now the path can split a bit. There's two major things that you could focus on at this point. Farming or mining. My piece of advice is that mining is overall better. It has a higher ceiling of making money. However, farming is much easier and quicker to get into. I would recommend farming first. So I'm going to be talking about it first. So I've made a video on the garden. I'll just highlight some quick points for you. Wheat is your best friend. Get farm armor and an agronomy sack pretty quickly. Move over to pumpkins. Get lantern helmet and rancher's boots and farmer's boots. Then farm melons. And then farm cocoa bean for replenish. And then carrot and potatoes for crappie. And then cocoa bean, pumpkin, and melon for squash and then farm 20 mil cane for fermento. It's not actually 20 mil if you have good RNG, but I, I, I farmed a lot of cane. Try to get an elephant as soon as you can, or on the contrary, you could use a rabbit. You're probably gonna have a hard time getting a mushroom cow at this point, but that would be the best for money. If you want more information on the garden, check out my garden video. Same with the garden, I've, I've already made a video on mining. Do your dailies every day. Go from glacite armor to yog armor to divan armor. Do nucleus runs to level up your heart of the mountain. And then, okay, I've wanted to talk about this for a second. Heart of the Mountain 7, Powder Grind, 
before gauntlet. Oh, but you could get gauntlet. No, I'm gonna explain this. Having good powder makes you get gauntlet faster. Having a gauntlet does not make you get powder faster. It's really as simple as that. You should really only start mining for money once you have a, at least three fourths Devon with Topaz and Jade Chambers. This was supposed to be an early game guide. I'm getting a little bit sidetracked. So I haven't even mentioned getting the mining minions yet. And I'm gonna do that now. Get the mining minions. Cool. And just some tips for getting minions and getting minion slots, getting unique minions. Run almost one of every minion. You should run a clay minion. You should run a snow minion. You should run an emerald minion. You should run a quartz minion, fishing minion, zombie minion, revenant minion, skeleton minion, creeper minion, spider minion, tarantula minion, blaze minion, magma cube, gas, slime, cow, pig, chicken, sheep, rabbit, all of those because those can't really be grinded that well manually so just run a minion let it upgrade itself and you could stop running that minion once it's maxed okay now i'm going to talk about foraging i do not blame you if you do not touch a log until you have a tree cap i do blame you however if you have a tree cap and you have foraging tier 5 minions. Tier 11 foraging minions are early game. Fight me. Also get Mastiff. Another thing with minions is you're gonna wanna run at least 6 redstone minions at the start of your profile for, for accessory bag and for personal compactor. As far as minion upgrades go, you're gonna wanna get fuel for these minions from powder grinding. I know, it's a bunch of fun. All the coal that you get, make lava buckets with it. Fishing, I've made a video on this. You can go watch it. It's a little outdated due to the Dre Island thing though. So to wrap this video up, I would like to say this. Once you have a Dreadlord sword, a Void sword, Ender armor, and Dragon armor, you could do whatever you want. That's the end of early, early game. At that point, you could transition into mining you could transition into garden, into fishing, if you really want. You could transition into foraging. Don't, I, don't do slayers. Like, please don't do slayers. Also, don't do more dungeons. I beg of you, do not do dungeons because you do not have the money. But that's kind of all there is to talk about because everything else I've already made a video on. So check that out if you're curious. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thank you.